This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, and verse 11. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, Unto the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. All right, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushing this word in uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the, four, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in this truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Mommy Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash, you know, uh, Adawan Rathaza, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash, you know, my lesson today is going to be basically on, on how two thirds, all right, here in America, all right, is not going to, uh, is not going to get this truth, man. All right, you two thirds of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations that lineage go back to the twelve tribes, according to your fathers. All right, we are the Hebrew Israelites. All right, and we are the Lord's chosen people. All right, but the Lord blinded the majority of, of His people, man. All right, the ones who's going to get it is the elect. All right, the scriptures say two thirds is going to be cut off and die here in America, man. And the Lord blinded the the Israelites. All right, all right. That was that scattered amongst the nations. Also, the Lord's got a remnant that He's gonna save the true believers that believe in these other lands. All right, but majority of our people as a nation is not gonna receive this truth, and they're gonna be destroyed. This book of Romans chapter eleven verse seven says, "What then? Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded." All right, so the elect has attained it, and the rest were blinded. You know, and I brought out the book of Isaiah the sixth chapter. All right. Just going into how the Lord blinded our people. All right, and they're not going to understand it until you, they see those, those missiles being shot off, man. They see those, they hear those nuclear sirens. All right, and they see the chariots flying. All right, because that's how our Lord Yahweh shot coming back with the world eagerly called Jesus Christ. All right, a so called black man. He's coming back in a so called UFO with thousands and thousands of angels. All right, and the Lord's going to use, all right, that, that those angels, all right. With those chariots to burn America also, along with thermonuclear missiles, man. All right. And our people not gonna get it into those into those until they be destroyed, man. All right. They're gonna down this side and they're gonna have to come back in the kingdom through the elect of the nation of the nation of Israel. This is book Isaiah chapter six and verse nine. And he said, Go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. Yeah, who is the Lord's people? All right. You Israelites, man. All right, so we supposed to go out on highways and byways and tell our people, man. All right, the prophecy, give them warning from Yahweh Bashma Shah, World War Three, the hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble, famine, pestilence. All right, the coming of our Lord. All right, he said, he said, and tell them who who they are and who the promise is for, man. He said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. Yeah, they hear us speaking, but they don't have an understanding. And see ye indeed, but uh, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Yeah, they see us out there, but they don't perceive what's what's going on. Why? Because verse ten, make the heart of this people fat. The Lord got the angels making our people mind, you know, fat. You know, the Lord is blocking their understanding. All right, and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. These they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So the Lord. Got them blinded because he don't want to heal them because he their destiny, their their uh, destiny is to be destroyed, man. Because they reject the Lord. All right. They they said, let the let the blood of our Lord Yahweh shall be upon them and their children. So the Lord blinded them on purposely so he can destroy them. Verse eleven. This is this is Isaiah. Then said I, Lord, how long? So Isaiah said, how long are they gonna be blinded? And he answered, "Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses be slight, and the houses without men, and the land be utterly desolate." All right. 
in this land, America gonna be utterly desolate by 200 million nuclear warheads. And our people make, make every excuse under the sun not to serve the Lord. All right, let's get some examples. This is book Isaiah, well, let me, I'll get that, but let me get this ax right quick. Acts chapter seven. Acts chapter 7 and verse 51. Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in the heart. All right. Uncircumcised in their mind. Um, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did. So do ye. So our people always resist the Holy Spirit. All right. This is the book of John chapter 6 and verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So our people reject the word. They always reject the word, man. I right? even when we was coming out of um, Egypt, man, they they killed the prophets for speaking the speaking the truth, man. All right, but you ain't gonna touch the prophets these time. The Lord's got the prophets, all right, all right, covered, and He's gonna deliver the elect, man. This is book of Isaiah chapter thirty and verse eight. Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever in, in forever. Verse nine, that this is a rebellious people. Oh, yeah, our people are rebellious, lying children, children that would not hear the law of the Lord. All right. They would not hear the law of the Lord. We say to the seers. All right. And the prophets before they was called prophets it was called seers. All right. We say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit. So our people want them to prophesy, want us to prophesy deceit to them. They want that prosperity doctrine like like these churches, man. They want motivated speakers like, oh, everything's gonna be good, you're gonna get a bag, you're gonna get a house, you're gonna find your career that you always wanted, you're gonna have a big happy family. Nah, man. The scripture said the last days perilous times shall come, and Esau eating with so-called white man, which is the which is a devil as the bible speak of all right he's the physical counterpart of satan he's coming down having great wrath because he know that he has but a short time he want to depopulate the earth mainly he wants his birthright back so he's want to destroy the nation of israel so we're not telling you smooth things we're warning you of the coming destruction all right because the lord's about to take esau out of power and who's ever joined with esau you're going to be thrust through man all right verse 11 get you out of the way get you out of the way Turn aside, turn aside out the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. That's what they want. They don't want the word to be by them, man. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel. So the Lord said, all right, since you want this, all right, because ye despise his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall swelling out in a high wall whose breaking coming suddenly at an instant. All right, so your judgment going to come as an instant, man. All right, since you want to be rebellious. All right, this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 7, I believe. Yep. Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11. But they refused to hearken. Our people, it's the same pattern. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Yea, they made their hearts anatomy and stone, meaning their mind. At least they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Since so they didn't want to hear, the Lord had said there's a great wrath that came and is about to come again even more. Verse 13, therefore it is come to pass as he cried and they would not hear. So they cry and I would not hear, saith the Lord of hosts. So they're going to be crying and the Lord is not going to hear them. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 26. I will also mock, so I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a as desolation and your destruction coming as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but I wouldn't, but they shall not find me for that. They hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. 
They so they would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of few shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. All right, so the Lord said when you call upon him, he's not going to hear him. All right, he's not going to answer you. All right, this is what the Lord going to tell you, goofies. Judges chapter 10 and verse 13. Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore, I will deliver you. So I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in a time of your tribulation, man. So the Lord going to say, let your gods deliver you. Your false idols deliver you in a time of tribulation, man. All right. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 5. In verse. Bear with me. Twenty one. Hear now this, O few, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not, man. That's our people. That scripture bear with me. Lord said. Said, uh, bear with me. I know it's a Jeremiah. Those are good precepts, too. Said, um, Watchman, Watchman, Jeremiah 6, Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. Thus saith the Lord. Stand ye in the, in the ways and seek and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way and walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said we would not walk therein, man. So the good way is this word. All right. She was told us to search out, search uh, for our forefathers, you know, go in the old paths. All right. With the good way, our people say they're not going to walk that way, man. All right. So the Lord's going to destroy you. Verse 17. Also, I said, watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said we would not hearken. Therefore, hear ye nations and know, O congregation, what is among them. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil, evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, um, nor to my law, but reject it. So the Lord said he's going to judge them for that. He's going to bring evil upon our people, man, for doing that. Book of Ezekiel chapter 33 in verse 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people are still talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another. Everyone to his brother saying, come, saying, come, I pray you hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. So our people, they they come in all right, for entertainment. All right. They come in for entertainment. They're not coming to the Lord sincerely. All right. Verse 31. And they come at come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people and hear my words, but they would not do them for with their mouth. They show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. All right. So our people, they hear the word. All right. But they would not do them. Verse 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument for they hear thy words, but they do them not. So they're going to be destroyed. 33. And when this comes to pass, meaning this destruction, I mean, in Jacob's trouble, the, the hour of temptation, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Yeah, a prophet, a true prophet of the Lord that wasn't the one who wasn't telling them everything's going to be okay. All right. The script say, we have piped, piped unto you, but you have not danced. All right. Last precept, Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 26. Again, the word of the Lord came 
to me saying son of man behold they of the house of israel say the vision that he said is for many days to come so they got all the type of excuses they say you ain't you ain't deep what you saying ain't gonna be in my lifetime we don't want to hear the word all right all right we ain't want to hear the word all right then they do want to hear it. they think it's a joke all right that's what the lord blinding them so they just gonna be destroyed man all right, it says, Son of men, behold, they of the house of Israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesieth of the times that are far off. So they, people think it's not going to make, our people think this destruction is not going to happen in their lifetime. All right, the hour, Jacob, the hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble. Verse 28, therefore say, say unto them, thus saith the Lord power, Yahweh Bashirashai, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done said the Lord power Yahweh so this word is going to be done and our people they're going to be blinded until those missiles come they're going to continue being judged alright alright until those until those missiles come man alright and they're going to have to down inside and come back alright through the elect because the Lord said two thirds in here in America are going to be cut off and die you know so Lord winning this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. And Shalom Akim, keep pushing, keep enduring. Shalom.